Welcome carnivores, or not carnivores, doesn't matter. Let's talk about day number two. Day number one wasn't very exciting. It was rather frustrating. So first thing I said was, I need a scale. I need to chart this progress somehow. So I looked at Lazada. Actually, no, I didn't start at Lazada. Went to Home Pro, which is their idea of Home Depot in Thailand. Went to Home Pro, looked, they didn't have one. Then I went to Lazada and I looked, and they had scales as cheap as $6. Now, what some of you may know and some of you may not know is that from the time I was 10 years, 11 years old, I used to go in to work at my dad's shop at the T Toledo Scale Company. That's right, Toledo Scale Company. He was a manager for Toledo Scale and he managed all of their factory service offices in Ohio, Indiana, and Pennsylvania. And on Saturdays, he would take me in, and I started out sweeping the floors. And then he started teaching me how industrial weighing equipment works, which most people don't really understand. Industrial weighing equipment Back in the day, we're talking 1960, maybe seven. Back in the day, the big thing was Toledo scales, honest weight, no springs. And if you remember, those were the big dial scales with dials about two foot wide. They were usually gray or black in color. And when you watch the professional prize fight, they would stand on that scale and the dial would go around, point to how much the fighter weighed. And if you, you probably never thought about it, but the actual plate the, the fighter's standing on, it doesn't even move. It looks like it doesn't move a, a fraction of an inch. Yet this dial goes all the way around like this and points it away. How does that work? Let me tell you. It's a pendulum system. And they used to call it honest weight, no springs. And it is an engineering work of art to make this happen. And to work on one required training. The average guy on the street, if given a scale that doesn't weigh right, is going to screw the hell out of it, trying to adjust it. He may be able to get it to weigh right if you're weighing half capacity on the scale. But if you try to weigh three quarters capacity, the scale's lie will be five or ten percent off. And if you weigh one quarter capacity, its live will be 5 or 10% off. And when you're weighing full capacity, its live will be a different way, a few percent off here, there, and everywhere. There's so many adjustments. Well, anyway, I know scales. And I know a $6 scale isn't going to weigh my fat ass. Just isn't happening. So I decided I had to go to Amazon, not Lazada. And I, I think it was Amazon. Yeah. Did, was it Amazon or did I go? I don't remember. But I found a scale for about $50, which is still cheap, but this was at least substantially sized, made out of stainless steel base, the base was separate from the digital readout, just had a cable going up to the digital readout. And it was like 55 U US dollars. 
And I said, okay, I'm going to order that, and they'll ship it to me. The other thing I decided to order on day two was something called a meter block, M-E-A-T-E-R block. And it's this really fancy four probe premium Wi-Fi enabled meat thermometer set that tells you the outside ambient air temperature of how you're cooking it and tells you the internal temperature of a steak all with the effort of being able to cook the steak to a perfect medium rare or medium or rare depending on your taste or if you want well done just throw it on there walk away go shop and come back it'll be well done you don't need one for that but I'm trying this at this point I had more steak I tried again I got another headache and another jaw ache it was absolutely ridiculous my freaking teeth hurt from chewing this stuff because of steaks were so bad so I ordered this meter block block for probe and that's not what I would consider inexpensive because they're $358 is what it cost on Amazon to get it to me. So I ordered that one. And to be honest, I tried to eat meat, couldn't get it done, fell back into eggs and chicken and pork chops things that we can cook that I could chew. And it's not because I got bad teeth, it's just that macro steak was tougher than a Kroger steak. For those of you who shop Kroger, you know what I mean. Even Walmart's got better steak than Kroger. I don't know how anybody eats a Kroger steak. Stick around for the journey. It gets better. <laughs> That's all, folks.